Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News and to begin I would like to first mention that there have not been any critical updates within the App Store but be sure to check out yours in case you've missed some of the previous ones. Moving on, let's go straight to the articles, the first article here which is going to be covering the Apple Watch OS 2 and Apple Watch 2, its release date, which is actually supposed to be June 2016. Now, this is this is a rumor too, but it is like it's they're aiming around that time, probably right around when the iPhone 7 is probably going to be announced. They'll probably release Watch OS 2, I'm assuming, or the Apple Watch 2. It's not OS 2 because it's not an update. It's more of a, it's an actual new phone. I mean, a new watch. And uh, this one's actually supposed to include a GPS so that you could actually use your GPS on your Apple Watch without using it on your phone. But then at the same time, it seems like it might e make it easier to use it on a phone because you got a bigger screen. But then also, you're also supposed to get a front-facing camera. This is also another rumor, honestly, because... Uh, if you add a camera into the actual uh, Apple Watch, it probably make it heavier and it might drive up the cost as well. So I'm not sure about that exactly, but there are some rumored prices here as well for the uh, Apple Watch 2. So be sure to check this out. I'll have a link in the description for this full article. Moving on, while we are talking about the Apple Watch, you can actually purchase an Apple Watch 1, the first generation Apple Watch, for $115 thousand dollars now you may be thinking why so much but this is a pretty cool article it's about a company who basically they put like they make their products diamond or gold they put diamonds on their like for example check out this apple watch you got diamonds these are real diamonds and gold plated now you could i guess you could see and here's here's a chihuahua <laughs> but i guess you could see how it could add up to one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. and i think it's pretty cool honestly if, if i had hundred fifteen thousand dollars right now to spend i'd probably go ahead and buy me one but uh, unfortunately not. So <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that out in here. I thought it was kind of funny and kind of cool. I'm like, it's kind of cool that there's actually a company that does this. Um, moving on, we do have that Apple raises iTunes match and Apple Music library matching limits to 100,000 tracks. And uh, it's just in case uh, iTunes match is basically, you, it's all through iCloud and you can uh, use any song from your CD. You can upload it straight to iTunes Match and stuff. That way you can have access to your music wherever you go through iCloud. Basically, like, for example, you got your phone, just got your phone through iCloud now and you're trying to play some music and you have iTunes Match. Now you can go ahead and access it through iCloud as long as you have, like, network connection or uh, uh, LTE, 4G. And you'll be able to access all 100,000 of your songs. Honestly, I don't think I have 100... I, the most songs I have is a thousand, hundred thousand. I think I'd probably go a little crazy, but that that is that is honestly pretty cool. They're increasing their limits to I would say to almost a factor that not anybody's really gonna use. But I'm sure there's people out there who have a hundred thousand songs. Uh, moving on, last but not least, I do have an app here. It's called Core 15, I believe. But it is an app that where it gives you like some workout items. It's a new app too. So if you're looking for a new app regarding like how to do like maybe workouts or you want to do some workouts with uh, through your phone and stuff and have a keep track of how you're doing and stuff, be sure to check out Core 15. And uh, that's basically it, you guys, for this week. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my life be the proof.